In today's video, I'll be using Autodesk Fusion 360 CAM to locate the Cartesian coordinates of six holes around a PCD and manually drill seven points using the manual milling machine. Welcome back, my name's Aaron and you're watching the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. In our high school engineering program, the students are required to CAD design and produce numerous parts throughout the year. One product that we do in particular can be somewhat challenging, and this is the large wobbler engine. This week, the students concentrated on producing the flywheel of their engine, which is made from brass plate and has a bonded copper ring installed on its outside. Manually machining this plate and drilling the accurate holes can be tricky. As with most topics I cover with my students, I like to provide them with many different ways or methods in finding solution. For example, when marking out the brass plate, we can do it one of uh, many ways. We can simply draw the diagonal lines, find the center. Using our spring divider or compass, we can scribe that circle, uh, ascertaining our PCD, which is over here at 99.06 uh, diameter. That's an imperial measurement, by the way, that I've converted. From there, we can shoot a line out to the right-hand side, center pop here, and using that same radius now, we could step off these points six times, uh, remembering that pi equals 3.142 and as you know pi is how many times the diameter goes around the outside of the circumference of the circle. As we know the radius is half the diameter so therefore if the diameter goes around three times the radius will go around six times. But you have to remember you can get an induced error there because it's not 100% accurate. Once you find those points you can uh, those points of intersection you can draw a line diagonally to find the top two here. Of course the other way you can do it as you know is uh, once you have your horizontal line through the center here. You can use a 60 degree set square and pick up the top and bottom point here. Flip your set square over and pick up the 60 degree here and here. Uh, if you don't know what I'm saying, if I use my dimension tool from here and click the center of that circle, the center of the center, and out and drag out, you can see I've got a 60 degree angle. So that my proof. Now, another way I did like to show my students was actually Put it into CAM. Now we've got the model here drawn and designed and if we turn in our sectional view and come over here you can see that we've got the model working fine here but we've got all this parametric data so why not use it? Okay, it seems a shame that we can't put it into action here. Uh, if we had CNC machines at the college I'm working that would be fine but we don't so we need a manual approach. So once we have the plate, flywheel plate drawn uh, I'd like to show the students that there's another way of doing this and we can actually pull it into the manufacturing environment. Okay, so we set up the stock to be 102 by 102 and you can see that I've actually put the datum point on the top right hand corner here. Now using Fusion Cam, we can quite simply pick up these Cartesian coordinates and when I simulate this for you and turn on my information here and let's turn our stock on for a moment so you can actually see it and I'll slow this down and you can see that Cartesian coordinates here every time that it's drilling is giving me those exact location so what we did with the students after I showed them this in CAM of course they were blown away they hadn't seen something like this before you gotta remember these are high school students they're not apprentices they're purely doing a pre-vocational engineering course which is sort of the first steps if you wanted to, once you finish high school, to go and do an apprenticeship. So it's like a pre-apprenticeship. All right, and we can see all our positions there. And with the second drill cycle as well, the same thing, that will pick me up on the, on the center one here. If we simulate at a parent level, okay, and here we go now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. And the seventh one, we can see where it was, was exactly in the center of the material. All right, now once I showed the students that, we brought up a 2D drawing. So we created a 2D drawing from this parametric model. And you can see it here. And you can see where I've told the datums over that top right-hand corner. And what I did is just manually typed in all those coordinates here. And it was quite easy to then go over to the milling machine and actually show the students uh, in action using a DRO. Now, you could still do it without a DRO. It'd be a little bit more challenging, but by all means, a DRO makes it that much easier. For those that 
of you that don't know, DRO means digital readout. Okay, so let's go over to the machine. Let's take a look at this in action now. And I'll speed the footage up a little bit so you won't be bored. Well, that concludes today's video. I trust you got something out of it. Um, before we go any further, I'd like to point out most digital readouts have a PCD function. 
okay, that you can look up the manual and it'll actually show you how to do a PCD and how to do circles around it and that sort of thing, okay? So, um, yes, a DRO is capable of that straight out of the box. However, I just wanted to provide you with an easier way. Uh, as you know, you know, with most electronic equipment, uh, you know, they vary from machine to machine. So instead of spending copious amounts of time looking at the manual and looking how to do it, we could quite simply do it in Fusion 360 to find those points and, uh, you know, make it just your workflow a little bit easier. So next time, how about giving Fusion a go and for yourself? So as you know, I like to supply the files for you guys. So I'll provide the A360 URL link uh, for this plate and the drawing that I did uh, in the description area of this video. So once again, thanks for joining in, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.